So many things going on outside these days, and we've had the perfect weather, haven't we? Tonight, if you plan to head outside, we'll still be about 80 degrees at 7 o'clock tonight. Clear skies all the way through 9 o'clock, 72 degrees by then. So if you're headed to the Hillsboro Hops game, good night for that. 64 at 11, still with clear skies, but then really early tomorrow morning, the clouds uh, come back into the Willamette Valley. So we're looking at a cloudy start to our day on Sunday and 60 degrees. Kind of nice to have these refreshing starts, isn't it? By noontime, I think we're still mostly cloudy, but some of us might start to see the sun breaks by then. And 5 o'clock, we're in the sunshine again and 80 degrees. So you'll notice about 2 degrees cooler. Than today because I think the clouds stick around a little longer. Here's a time lapse of this morning. We even had a little bit of drizzle, a trace of rain reported out at the airport. That's the most we've had since June 26th. So uh, pretty awesome that this has been one of the wettest days we've had in about a month. Tomorrow, the morning clouds return into our skies, and that's because ocean air is moving inland, that northwest breeze ushering it inland. Here's 8 a.m. tomorrow morning on your rain and cloud forecast. You can see those morning clouds around Portland and as far south as Salem, possibly, also out at the coast. East of the Cascades, you start in the sunshine, and the sun lasts all day long there. By noontime, some of us breaking out of the sun. I think it'll happen early afternoon for most of us. And then out of the coast, looks like those clouds will be pretty stubborn. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Still lots of clouds out at the coast. Monday, a near repeat. This is 6 a.m. Monday morning. So a lot of us commute in the clouds Monday, but then by afternoon, the evening commute looks sunny. This is 1 o'clock. Uh, even at the coast, I think we'll get more sunshine on Monday. High pressure is blocking all of the storms. So they're headed up into Canada. Our storm track rather weak. This time of the year. That's giving us beautiful blue skies for another day. 78 degrees at Salty's on the Columbia. Beautiful view to 17 in Canyon Road looking out toward the coast range. And then here's what it looks like at Cannon Beach. 56 degrees with a lot of clouds, but that's not bothering all these people still enjoying the beach today. 78 in East Moreland and downtown. It's 84, a little warmer in Hillsboro and 83 in Tiger. They got sunshine before downtown Portland did today. 76 in Gresham. A broader view shows you 50s out along the coast, 80s for the Willamette Valley, and warm 91 degrees right now in Bend, mid 80s for the Dalles. Our highs today, right about where we should be this time of year. 82 is average for our high, 90s east of the Cascades. We do have extreme fire danger on the east slopes of the Cascades, uh, just to the west of Bend. There's a red flag warning that's in effect until 8 o'clock tomorrow night, so something to be aware of. Your forecast for Sunday, morning clouds, potentially even a little bit more patchy drizzle tomorrow morning with those clouds, but we'll turn sunny by afternoon with afternoon highs from about 80 to 83 degrees or so. 82 in Gresham tomorrow, 80 out at PDX, 80 in Salmon Creek. Morning clouds and drizzle out along the coast, and then partly sunny by afternoon. Afternoon. Same for the I 5 quarter. I think we'll go to all out sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Hot and breezy east of the Cascades with another day in the 90s. So here's your seven day forecast. Nothing changes much the next seven days. We kind of teeter between about 80 degrees and 85 on Tuesday. So warm weather, more sunshine. The only hiccup, those morning clouds. Yeah, it looks like every day is the same. <laughs> exactly. I know. <laughs> Tuesday looks like the nicest. I think we'll get the most sunshine that day.